Hi friends, we will discuss RPGN in a minute. RPGN is rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. So, there will be glomerulonephritis and renal failure, which is rapidly worsening over days to weeks, usually requiring hemodialysis. So, the patient is having glomerulonephritis and renal failure. So, how do you classify the causes of uh, RPGN? You can have anti-GPM disease, immune complex disease. Immune complex disease, you can have lupus nephritis, infection-related glomerulonephritis, cryoglobulinemia, or PSGN or IgA. This may not present as RPGN always, but can present as RPGN, immune complex mediated. Next is posi immune or ANCA associated vasculitis. So, what is ANCA? Anger is anti neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies. Anger associated. This is PR3 Anka and MPO Anka. So, how this is classified? And if you get a kidney biopsy, if you clinically diagnose an RPGN, do a kidney biopsy. In the kidney biopsy, you will get crescentic GN, crescentic glomerular nephritis. You will do immunofluorescence. We can know immunofluorescence. You can have linear pattern or you can have granular pattern. If you have no immunofluorescence, you test for ANCA, ANCA vasculitis, PR3 or MPO. Linear, you test for anti GBM disease. Granular, you look for immune complex diseases, lupus, IgA nephropathy, infection related glomerular nephritis, all these things. Now, regarding anti-GBM disease, glomerular base membrane is antibodies against collagen 4 alpha 3 chain antibodies. And this will be circulating antibodies. You can do blood test to assess the levels of anti-GBM antibodies. Pulmonary hemorrhage or glomerular nephritis. Patient can have pulmonary hemorrhage or glomerular nephritis. Patient may, may not have pulmonary hemorrhage as the call for A3 in the pulmonary alveoli are more protected than glomerular nephritis. But smoking increases the incidence of pulmonary hemorrhage. Biopsy in anti GBM disease will show crescentic glomerular nephritis, linear immunoglobulin G, linear pattern of immunofluorescence. Young males are more affected in crescentic glomerular nephritis due to anti-GBM disease. Coming to posi-immune ANCA vasculitis, immune complex are not there in the biopsy. Biopsy showing IF, NIL and ANCA will be positive. Usually present at later age of life, 60 to 70 years of age. Usually two types of ANCA, PR3 ANCA and MPO ANCA. You can have immunofluorescence pattern PR3 usually will show cytoplasmic pattern, NPO will show nuclear pattern, perinuclear pattern. So, PR3 usually will be cytoplasmic C anchor and NPO anchor usually will be nuclear pattern, perinuclear P anchor. Treatment of anchor associated RPG, you can do cyclophosphamide or plasma exchange or induction therapy. And on maintenance therapy, you can give MMF or azathioprine. Immune complex RPGN are usually lupus nephritis, SLA producing lupus nephritis, IgA can produce an infection related cryoglobulinic vasculitis, all this can produce immune complex RPGN. Now coming to the last, what is the difference between PR3 ANCA and MPO ANCA? How will you remember? Remember the three, C4 C ANCA, R4 respiratory and relapse. So finally, regarding the differences between MPO ANCA and PR3 ANCA is CPR3. CPR3. So uh, cytoplasmic, C4 cytoplasmic ANCA and R4 respiratory involvement, R4 relapse, more relapse. PR3 ANCA usually associated with GPA and all other things. MPA, EGPA and renal emetic vasculitis, drug induced vasculitis more commonly associated with MPO ANCA. And in India, 
we will find MPO Anka and in South Asian countries in India, MPO Anka is more common than PR3 Anka.